What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out a brand new update for one of its uh, applications, or let's call it a service, which is kind of interesting. Let me just go to the Galaxy Store here and tap on updates. As you can see, this application is called Smart Touch Call. Now this may not be an application, you may not be able to find this app on the Galaxy Store or on your phone, this is more of a service which I will brief you in this video. Now I have been using Galaxy phones for quite a while but I have never seen an update for Smart Touch Call. Now this service or this feature could be region specific so let me know whether you have got this update or not in the comment section. Let me just tap on this. We have got something new here, let me just expand this. It says setting flag immutable to pending intent, add an intent scheme analysis to web view, apply resource shrink option to build, install only in Android version 11 or higher, STC cannot be executed unless it is a Samsung device. Now it looks like this change log doesn't make any sense to the users, but this is specifically meant for the service smart touch call. Let me just scroll down here, let me show you the uh, description. It says this application activate the screen to bring the voice and video interactive contents. It helps you to find and connect quickly and easily by looking at the type of contents with voice while you dial out to the service providers, which is Samsung in this case, who offer visual and voice interactive service. The user can intuitively recognize the service menu and adequately select the menu to get solutions. Now you would have understood what exactly this application does. This is more of a customer service centric application. When you dial Samsung customer support, you will be able to activate a screen which would look like this. You can see this is smart touch call. We have got various devices here, mobile, TV, re refrigerator, washing machine and other devices here which are all Samsung devices. We will be able to activate the screen once we dial the customer support number. You can select the device and then you can select the options here. You can see it says find a service center, register your product, book a repair for mobile it is displaying here assuming that we have select selected the mobile phone track your repair, visit the online shop, mobile diagnostics. And we can also directly contact the agent support. Uh, we can mail or chat or talk by selecting these options. All this can be executed once you make a call to the customer support. So basically, Samsung Smart Touch Call is a digital self-service option that helps us resolve the common queries without calling Samsung's customer care. It basically reduces the wait time, it provides quick solutions for our common queries, and we'll also be able to access to the support agents quickly using this menu. Now let's go ahead and update this application. Let me tap on update. Uh, you see the uh, update was received on 4th November 2024, and the size is just about 4.38 MB, and the version is 1.0.0.8. Now I updated this. Now let me show you how exactly we can activate this menu. I'm not sure whether this is working currently or not. Let me go ahead and do that. Now let me dial Samsung customer support number here. This is the number for India. Thank you for calling Samsung customer care. Dear customer, our contact center support options are now available on your phone screen. If you are calling from your smartphone, and wish to avail these services, please press 1. That is a smart touch call service. Press two to continue. We'll have to press 1. Now it will send a message to our Thank phone. Thank you for choosing smart touch call service. For ease of interaction, Here it is. on the phone speaker or use earphones as you navigate the phone screen. Here is the link please that we have got. On the link in the SMS sent to your phone. While using the service, please do not disconnect the call. For some reason, this is not Here working on my phone. Input is still awaited. Please check the SMS. You see, when I click this link, it is not opening up. It is supposed to show me the menu options here, but it is not working on my Galaxy phone. If it doesn't open up, then it will directly take you to the uh, IVR service here. So uh, this feature is not actually working on my device. You guys try it out and let me know whether this feature is working on your device. And I'm not very sure whether this is available in all the countries. This could be region specific like I mentioned earlier. And it is supposed to work at least here in India. I'm not sure why this is not working on my phone even after getting this update. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. And if you're interested in these icon packs and this widget, I have already posted a video about that. 
a couple of days ago go ahead and check that video out you can see the step-by-step -step guide for creating these icons and this widget here that's it i hope you have already subscribed to the channel if you haven't done it already go ahead hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative i will see you in the next one soon my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye